Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to play some Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I've been playing this game for like around like a year now. I wouldn't say exactly I'm the best player, but I mean, I win campaigns a lot. Like I can take, I can pretty much take over Soviet Union, all of Europe, essentially I guess Africa, and sometimes I go after, you know, Canada and the United States, but... You know, it depends on how things go with the war with the Allies. Um, yeah, this is super easy to take. This could be annoying, but I take it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to make a tutorial on how to win as a German Reich um, very early on, though. Like, I start like World War II practically way before 1939. Um, essentially, I can take over the entire world and defeat the Allies. Well, I can defeat the Allies before before 38. Like, that's the best possible outcome I could probably do. Um, I could probably beat the Soviet Union way before 1941. Um, but, I mean, I usually I take my time with it. Uh, but I also try to rush it because, I mean, it's really boring to play from 1936 to 1939, I guess you could say. Which is building up and all that, blah, 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 boring, boring, whatever. So I thought, you know, I might just jump into it, kind of show what I would do uh, to kind of make Hearts of Iron 4 fun and exciting. Yeah, let's jump into it. Um, I'm also going to have to work on my editing in this video because I'm, I am i usually just don't edit my videos. I just record the entire gameplay, everything in between, uh, whether that be like Valorant or CSGO, and I just don't edit out like any of like the, the in-between gameplay. And for this, I'm probably going to need to do that because this is going to take... Well, I don't know. Probably a few hours at least. So I, I need to cut down some of the... Some of the, uh... Pausing moments. Um, and like, during this, I'm literally watching The Office. Because, I mean, this can get really boring. But, I mean, yet again, you need a tutorial. You know, an updated one, I guess. Uh, this is... I'm also playing on, um... One of the DLCs. I forget which one it was. But it's like, I only have like one DLC. Um, but yeah, so yeah, um, so yeah, the first thing I usually do is I take all my units, take them to an army, and immediately change them all to infantry. Uh, I usually don't use tanks until very, very later on. Of course, it just helps other people do it. Um, I mean, that's, that's up to you, I guess, if you really want to try to put all your resources and production into that. Um, so yeah, I make two armies, uh, I usually, I don't use field marshals, I don't find them good, and I'm not sure exactly how I would need to use them. I know that there's ways that you can just, like, you just get one, and you just hook them all into that field marshal, your generals, and that field marshal, and you don't have to use that field marshal ordal, or order, oh, um, and you still get the boosts from the field marshal, but, I don't know, I kind of find that... Annoying, I guess. I don't know. I just never really invested my time to learning how to use field marshals. So yeah, I make two armies. Um, and this is where it kind of gets fun, because you actually have, you have a decision that you can make. So you can either... do. I, I found this one uh, strategy that you could do is where you can attack Belgium and have a better chance uh, later on while defeating them into invading France. Um, you could do one where you could let Switzerland kind of walk into your countryside after declaring war on them, and then do kind of like a trapment, where you can kind of just swoop in and stop them and cut off their supply and take over the country while taking over Switzerland, so you have better access to France from another territory. Um, there's one where you do Netherlands. There's all kinds of things you can do, but the one I'm going to do is do Belgium, because that's probably the easiest. So, um, so I got the armies down. I'll do the basic uh, technology stuff, construction, whatever you want to call it. So, in this situation, when you're trying to also build military factories, you want to build them in the best infrastructure so you get the best output. I believe that's how that works. I'm not sure exactly. I could be just saying a bunch of crap right now. I have no idea what I'm saying. But um, you should want to build them in 70 plus territories. Um, sometimes I fit them into 60 because, you know, I need the extra factories. Uh, so, yeah, like in this, in this situation, like all that's left is 60% infrastructure. Uh, usually I would do like this, this, and that. Um, let's see, what else? Probably that. 
and the rest of them would go to the civilian factories, but civilian factories are important, so I want to make sure I can do civilian factory infrastructure. Uh, basically, it makes it look like this, like a pattern, essentially. That's probably what the best you can do. Um, oh, hold on. Yep, there we go. Uh, wait, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Please stop. Is it building? Oh, it's just wait. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of weird. Was well, it kind of a glitch or something like that? Um. So now that we almost have all of our, we'll just do this for now, and then we'll just do. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, it's just a little something like kind of like this. Uh, you could do in betweens as well, like that. And of course, when you start to take over more countries, you'll start to get you know multiple things done in one instance. Uh, so it's not all clumped up into getting only like one thing done. Um, so yeah, I, I delete that. Uh, let's put three into each of those because Air Force is very important. Um, let's get this into five stack, except for this. Um, it's just something like this. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about it for the construction. And then for our Navy, I usually do two of these, two of these. I do two light cruisers. Yet again, I, I hate the Navy. I don't know how to really do this properly. Uh, fuck that. Um, we'll keep the battleship. And I'll grab a heavy cruiser too, because I think they're the best. And it looks something like this. So two destroyers, two light cruisers, one battleship, one heavy cruiser, uh, two submarines. Uh, the submarines will be done quicker, so you just keep boost You just keep putting more... Uh, naval dockyards into your submarines because they have the best uh, stats, I believe. Um, now, for our political focus, or, or national focus, excuse me, uh, don't do Rhineland, uh, don't do naval, yeah, don't even look at this, this is just useless, don't do any of this, don't do that, don't do that, for your plan. Uh, get your economy up. Uh, delete all this, spam out a crap ton of units, um, template, uh, that's fine. Uh, this, yeah, that's fine. Make sure you get your trade going. Uh, as to our Air Force, Air Force is kind of weird. If you don't want to use Air Force, I mean, you just look up another video, because this is just a tutorial how to play German Reich quickly. Um, split your air support. Stick that into this army. Get this into this army. And make sure they're all have their stats on, put them on normal operations, you don't want to like, force them to do anything. Uh, this can be the Western Front. This can be the Eastern Front. Uh, so yeah, and you just stick this army here, put an order to invade all of that. And then, basically, for this, I, wa I watched one strategy where you can do an entire fallback line against this river, but I find it a lot easier if you do it like this and leave one spot where they can walk in so you can, you can kind of attack them that way, because Belgium's not really a strong country. It's a weak government, not strong units. Um, and make sure when you're pumping out these units, you want to pump as much as you can into Second Army. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, let's put all our fuel into Army and Navy. Um, and yeah, so you basically got that set. And you basically don't do anything for a while as well. I also I, I delete the Axis. I, I mean, I kind of stick my own, make my own uh, faction later on. Um, well, what I do now is I also boost part party popularity into Finland. So I have an extra ally to help me with the northern invasion when I do that later on, and to help me with the Soviet Union. Also, it might be really—it's really helpful as well. Um, when you invade all of Europe, essentially, in my strategy, um, the best possible scenario is that you are set and ready to go, while also being able to invade from Turkey and the Eastern Front all the way from Estonia down to Romania. And let's just say you have Finland in your faction, like they get fascist uh, government quickly. 
Um, and when the Soviet Union attacks Soviet, or not Soviet, uh, they, they attack Finland, they move all of their forces off the Western Front for some reason and move them, like, all up here, and they also, like, garrison them all over the country. So it leaves them completely helpless to stop us from invading the Western the Western Front. Like, it is so easy to invade them at that point. Um, and once you, honestly, once you get past, like, this point, it's it's pretty much over for them. Uh, I mean, they have good, they have good, like, factory output here, um, and stuff like that. But I, I also, in, in this scenario, I'm also going to do a little, like, a test thing here. I'm also not going to do United States. Usually I do that, because it's, it's easier for the Allies to struggle when these guys become fascist. Um, but I'm, also, I'm actually going to do Canada, because I find it more exciting to invade uh, a democratic United States than, I guess, fascist, kind of, like, betraying them, essentially. But if I do Canada... I wonder if I can get them to be my ally or puppet. Not sure what the scenario will look like here. Um, and start, you know, building infrastructure here. And it'll be easier to invade them than taking it over. Because every time I invade United Kingdom and I take over Europe, I never get them in the in. I never get Canada in the peace conference. Never get it. So I wonder if I can get them to become fascist somehow. Join us. See how things go from that. So yeah, that's that's all you gotta do for right now. Uh, put down triple speed. Uh, and yeah, oh, I didn't really do my navy, but we can just pause it real quick. Yeah, stick all your navy into one thing. I also hate the navy, hate the air force, hate everything about it. Uh, we'll call this a battle fleet. Uh, I don't care. Carl Donitz is fine. Donitz, whatever you want to call it. Uh, any logo is fine, doesn't really matter. Um, stick all your navy into one port. Uh, so you can see how much you got going on. And yeah, you basically you just wait until this gets to 180, so you can justify on Poland and Belgium at the same time. Because once you uh, do that at the same time, you can get both countries while having your world tension below 25%. Uh, that means the Allies won't uh, guarantee independence, uh, so they don't attack you at the same time and basically wipe you out before you can recover, or, you know, kind of put armies up against the Maginot Line and the Western Front. Um, so yeah, uh, this is going to be the part one video. I'll make a few other parts because I believe this is going to take a while. I think I'm going to do part one up until I can declare war on France and see how it goes from there. So yeah, we'll keep it going here. And I'll edit this out too. You can also, you know, if I don't edit it out, you guys can just skip through until something else changes. Um, but for right now, we're just going to have to wait and see how things go. And yeah. Alright, so National Spain declared war on Spain. Love that. Um, so yeah, basically, as a German Reich, you need to support the fascists here. You need to support Franco. Um, so, the benefit of actually not using light tanks at all is that I can actually send them my light tanks. So you basically start a lend lease, uh, get all your light tanks over to them. You do it once, you send it to them, and not only you know does Franco appreciate that, they can also win the war against the Republicans. Or Republican Spain, excuse me, not Republicans. I mean, I guess you can call them that, but. Um, well, I have a picture there from Jose Diaz, I don't know. So yeah, they will, they will say thanks. They appreciate it. Um, I I al I always believe that once they take Madrid, uh, it's GG's from there. Um, but yet again, Franco can sometimes be very incompetent. Um, so yeah, now I'm being supporting them as well. Also, support China. When you start taking over Poland and Belgium, support China because Japan. I mean, I don't really care if they join my alliance or whatnot. Um, but they always get a war goal on British Malaya, Dutch East Indies, and the Philippines. I mean, I don't really care about the Philippines, but they always come down here and they always try to get a war goal down here. Um, and I mean, when you take over um, the uh, or England, I mean, you get uh, an opportunity to satellite British Raj and the British Malaya. And when you have them, no matter what, if you're not in their faction which I don't like making a faction with them because that's just unnecessary because they're on the other side of the world. Um, they, they just always declare war on one of these Pacific Islands. 
Um, next, uh, I mean, essentially, when you're doing this national focus, you just want to rush down to extra research slot. Uh, so yeah. Um, when you can also produce enough guns as well, uh, and you're up in like the twenty thousands per se, um, and you also, if you want, you can you can supply national Spain with guns, and when you start taking over more countries, you can start uh, helping China out while giving them tanks. Because you also, you really want to weaken Japan, because they always come back to put you in the ass. Um, and yeah, that's, that's that's what you gotta do for right now. Make sure you get these eyes up to 24 at least. Um, let's get these down, let's see. Um, so I got the four-year plan. I, I kind of forget, do I get the boost from that? No, I don't. I get the, wait, no, I do get the boost from that. So let's just do mechanical computing. We'll rush our our bonuses through uh, construction. No, I'll do mach improved machine tools and does a uh, con concentrate industry because I don't think Germany's gonna get bombed a lot with the air force I'm building right now. Um, yeah, I, I don't even use the extra uh stuff I got here. I don't even use all this stuff until much later on until I can take over Belgium and Poland because I just want to make sure I can save up as much as I can so when I do take them over I'll be set and prepared. Uh, so yeah, that's what we gotta do for right now. Alright, so these guys are done, I guess you can say. I'm gonna not really not a big deal. Uh, let's stick them into here. 12 is fine. They set up perfectly around here. Uh, so yeah, when I mean when we get to it. I'll tell you guys how to do this, um, but for right now, that looks fine. Oh, we're getting there. He'll take another three billion years. Of course, me boosting the ideologies in Finland and in Canada is not helping me with that either, but it's not a big deal. It's really not. Um, it would be a big deal if I needed to get this like ASAP, which it, it's not. Alright, so now I got the, now these done. Let's do concentrated industry and let's do improved machine tools. That's a good boost. Now, I think I, I, I don't think the boost applies to them anymore, but uh, when you're done with this stuff, you can, guys can go after this if you want. That's just, you know, getting sy synthetic stuff out. Um, what else do I do? The early on technology, if you don't have anything to do, you can do interwar artillery, um, you can do the radio. If this comes up somehow, if you really want, if you do ar army invasions as well, while rushing down to the extra research slot, you can do delay. You can do bombing. There's a lot of things you can do. This guy sit here and wait till 180 though. That's gonna take forever. Well, not really. I don't want. It. Usually you get like one a day. All right, we got Altarki. Uh, Harman Goring. Yeah, that'll just help you with your... Well, I think Herman Goring helps you with uh, civilian... Yeah, extra civilian factories, which is always nice. Um, this one is, is the best here at your German economy as well. I'll help you get the consumer goods factor 20%. Uh, I don't even use conversion costs, but I, I guess some people do. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that'll help you out with that. And military factory construction speed 20% is amazing. Uh, some regions also get extra military factory. That's always fun. Like nothing wrong with that. You get that later game though. Uh, I also I don't do any of this stuff right here. None, don't do any of this. Please. I I hate puppets in this game. I mean they can be helpful. The only puppet I like, or the puppets I like is uh, national Spain. Or not puppets. Allies. Well, I guess allies and puppets. I like Italy, national Spain, and when I get the opportunity to puppet Greece. Uh, those are the ones I like. Um, if somehow in a peace deal I get like some random puppet I didn't realize, sure, I'll take it. Don't care. Um, but yeah. That's kind of my view on that. Alright, what happened? Italy took over Ethiopia. Good for you. You killed a bunch of dudes with sticks. Um, we're also really close to getting our political power to 180 and once that happens awesome all right so this is what you do this is that zero percent good you just fire a war goal get him to 350 days i'll give you enough time to muster up the amount of men you need and also get your kind of economy i guess you can say up and running so you do that 
350. And you get these guys. So 345, 350, doesn't really matter. Um, this stays under 25%, so they won't guarantee them. So you, that's the beauty of of uh, 1936 early justifying war goals. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got that done. It'll take us 206 days. Yeah, usually you want to start doing research on things that are, are like 200 days and lower. You can do this now. That's not a big deal. I find that the best. Uh, yet again, you're just trying to rush down to extra research slots. So KDF, KDF wagon. Uh, so we got... You already, you already pumped out one submarine. Let's pop out another one. Okay, chill. Because that just slows down my game even more. Alright. So, now that you have the justifying war goals down, you can start working towards advisors. So... The next advisor you want to get is Martin Borman. Don't do Rudolf S because he stays until like a few years and then he has like this flight. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, Rudolf Hess has undertaken his famous flight. When he does that, it kind of screws over your political power thing there and it wastes political power. So don't 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 do that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do a destroyer. Let's get an extra one in there. Alright, uh, we're pulling out these guys. Uh, just do this, 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 and that. Kind of hurry them up. Their equipment will be filled in the field. Uh, stick them on the eastern front. Also, I've seen some strategies as well, which I don't... Which, I mean, it, I, it works either way for these guys. Um, I'll show you in a second. Let's get Fedor Fonbach, because he's really good. Um, stick him here. Sometimes they don't even cover this front, but since I'm trying to keep, you know, all the territories I have, uh, I cover that front. They usually just stick all the armies, uh, they stick all their armies here, and they just invade over, which, I mean, tra strategic wise, that's actually kind of smart because these guys don't even worry about the Western Front, they just invade up here. Um, and you, you can just kind of steamroll them, but at, at this point, if you have a good enough army, you can just take these guys over, and it's not a big deal. Uh, for research, what do we got? You do disperse industry. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can start working into getting those synthetic stuff down, because you want to get all your, all your factory and industry stuff down as quick as you can, as best as you can. Uh, it's very important. Also, I uh, real quick, I think the best uh, width, I don't know if they updated the game again, but the best combat width is a 20 width uh, Germany. Uh, you can change that later on to down the line when you're invading the rest of Europe and you have to wait just to invade Soviet Union. Change them to 40 widths. It just combats against uh, Soviet Union a lot better considering that they're built on mass assault and all their widths are like 40 plus, I believe. Um, yeah, make sure you get all this stuff. I'll, I'll explain how to do support, uh, support comms as well. Uh, but I'll show you how to do a proper combat with as well later on. Because there's multiple ways that you can do it. You can use them with artillery, you can use them only with infantry. But the best way to do it is to actually incorporate both. Alright, KDF wagon's done. Extra research slot, hooray! Yeah, this is, this can just take a while. It, it gets a lot more exciting when you're actually invading the countries, which takes a little bit of time. Alright, and we got that done. We can do oil processing. Yep, 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 you feel really upset towards them. Yeah, National Spain is doing pretty good. I mean, usually they, they win these civil wars more often than not. Um, and be careful, too. If you get the opportunity to create a faction with them or invite them to a, to your faction, uh, you need to be careful because sometimes if you really want to, like, go after Republican Spain and, like, rush rush Spain, they join the common turn, and you don't want that to happen because I don't think you really want to fight the Soviet Union. I mean, yeah, I guess you could. If you have a strong enough army, like a weakened Russia is uh, pretty much their motto until 1941, I believe, because of their Great Purge. And they do that soon, I believe. 
Um, but yeah, when they do the Great Purge, it's a much weakened uh, country. Their units are poo-poo. Their generals are poo-poo. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of whatever you want to do in that point. But in this point, just, you know, what I do, take Poland, take Belgium, support National Spain if you want, support China if you want to as well. Uh, yeah, don't do available plane reserves, I guess. Uh, stick them into this. Usually you want, you want to get three armies into the Eastern Front and one army in the West. It'll be a much weakened army in the West, but sooner or later you'll, you'll beef them up. Let's just get these guys out. There we go. Uh, we got 150. Uh, Martin Borman. Uh, next thing you do as well, uh, wait, actually, what am I doing right now? I'm oh, sorry, I'm doing an extra research slot. Uh, next thing you do as well, after you do extra research slot, you go for army innovations, and that's when you can also change your template, um, to have a recon. And that kind of buffs everything a little bit, that's why I do. Um, so yeah, let's do army innovations. Uh, let's see what we can do. Can't, you only want to rush that, can't do that for right now. What you can do is that you can either do radio or you can do this. I'm just going to do this because it's quicker. I am also going to rename this to what I wanted to because I like to rename things. I call it Elite Infantry. And I make them look cool. Alright, so we got our extra... Civilian, or not civilian, military factories. Uh, pump in the guns. Guns are important. Um, do at least 15 here. Something looks like this. Perfect. Also, these guys come extremely important later on. Motorized, that's why I like to have enough factories for them. Early game. Because, actually, I don't know. I might do something different here. I might do an entire 40 width tank template, or I might do a 40 with soft tank, and by that I mean I add motorized into into what I, into my tank divisions, which can be sometimes good and bad. Good, there we go. Construction is done. Uh, activation. Also, if you want to know another YouTube channel that does a really good job at doing these, kind of like doing challenges and tutorials, um, I recommend Torior, I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, love his videos. I think he does a great job at, um, explaining how to do things. Uh, and just, you know, fun challenges. Like, honestly, he has great challenges that he does, and he does a really good strategy tutorial videos. Um, so yeah, if you want to check him out, you can. Uh, now that we have that army innovations done, we have extra 10 experience, so I can modify my thing. I said cavalry into here. Our equipment goes down a little bit, but it gets filled up pretty quick. Uh, that's done. Let's see. And do that. Alright, so this is what we do now. We do this, this, and that. There we go. Alright, uh, so yeah, you're at the point where you really can't do a lot more into that. Um, if you're kind of stumped on what to research, uh, well, you can wait for this to be able to be researched after we get the treaty with the USSR done. Uh, heavy Fighter. Comes very important later on. Can really crush things down. Also, there's um, things that you can do as well. Like, you can change the way, like, you can change the variance of fighters. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't change them at all. Um, I just kind of leave them the way they are because I feel like it just you know takes up a lot of extra experience and whatnot that you're going to use or whatever. Because um, I also use experience to hurry up uh, research technology. Um, but yeah, I just leave them the way they are. Uh, I mean, you can also do that differently from the way I do it. Um, but yeah, it's totally your choice. All right, uh, that's done. Let's see, are we almost done with this treaty with the USR? If I don't have a lot going on. 
research wise. Oh, well, actually, uh, let's do this. Ah, uh, 1937, June, April, May, June. Yeah, plenty of time to get your armies ready as well. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, here we go. 148. Uh, change the extent of conscription. Find that a lot easier. Kind of hurry up. Also, make sure you have enough manpower for when you're invading countries. What's next? So, we're getting to the point where we need to invade another country. Uh, so you gotta be careful what you do here, but, uh, it's your choice. Um, this doesn't even matter, like, you literally, you, when you start invade countries, this gets bypassed, and you can actually just go right down to Anchilus, I guess you can call it, Anchilus? I don't know what you call it, uh, pronounce it. Uh, and then I just kind of rush down to here as well, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's do RMB, or Air Innovation, excuse me. Oh, and there you go, there is our, holy crap, that is also when the... China goes all berserks. Um, yeah, now you could wait until midnight tonight. Or this night. Oh, wait, it already happened. Never mind. Uh, yeah, you can research your tanks. Inside of 400 something days, you can just do it right now. Love that. Yeah, save all your political power. Don't even look at this. Don't even look at your MIFO bills, MIFO bills. I don't, I'm not really a fan of MIFO bills, but they all do have their. They do have their uses. Their boosting popularity. Not boost, what am I saying? Their uh, boosts to uh, construction of factories is really helpful. Um, but of course, when you're essentially done invading Poland and Belgium, you get the the companies to ban the mefo bills, and you don't get a decision not to do that. So you need to do that, uh, and it makes your factories uh, build literally nothing. This becomes like one. Uh, I'll show you that later on, and maybe a next video, maybe this video, depending on how things go. Uh, let's do that. He's done. Get him into a third army, or fourth army, excuse me. Uh, let's do yellow. Actually, let's do orange. And put your Kurt student is nice. Love Kurt student. Oh, I mean, I don't know if he was part of Nazi party in real life. Uh, don't take that out of context. I don't love him then. Love him in the game, not in real life. Although I do have respect towards some of the generals in the German army. All right, so yeah, now that the justifying war goal is done, actually, I kind of want to wait an extra few because you, you have an extra few months before this war goal expires. You have. You know, expiration date as well. You have a whole entire month practically. Um, and you also give a few extra days to get this done so you can get some extra research done. Plus, get ready for your bypassing of Vineland. Um, let's see. I want to get these guys done. I want to get them all over to the Eastern Front ASAP. I think that might take some time. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, excellent. Air animations is done. Japan's going crazy. Um, Alright, you know what? Let's just pump these guys out. Not a big deal. Really don't care. Because Poland's not like a superpower or anything. They're not a big threat. Um, actually, let's wait for them to hurry up and get over there. Don't worry about this either. This changes a lot when you're done going to war with these guys. Alright, let's see. Alright. Looking good. Boom. Declare war. And you're finally at war. Thank God, because that was thinking forever. And yeah, this is kind of weird, uh, the way things look here. But essentially, these guys just surround the riverfront, except for this part, which is important. Um, and again, don't look at this. Don't look at the industrial land appropriation. F that. Basically, when you have all these guys right here, like half an army, they have trouble trying to 
defeat them going across the river because there's boost there as well. And you can bypass Rhineland. Okay, immediately to Angeles. And you can start in. You're literally just invading countries for free because the Allies aren't going to touch you. And you can start taking Czechoslovakia, you can start taking Austria, you can essentially take uh, Yugoslavia if you want somehow manage depending on how things look uh, yeah don't do any of that um, this might be a problem here but we'll see I kinda wanna pump out another army here though but if not no big deal let's see usually they if they fight they they, they, they just start pushing slowly and it's always green because your defense is insane against the rivers um, awesome tanks are done Air innovations, we can start doing dive bombing. Awesome. Yeah, and I mean, you, you always do really good against Poland. You kind of just get in there, get the job done. It may take a, I mean, it might take a little, little while, but Poland's not, you know, a struggling country to take. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's low. I probably should have put more countries in there, but no big deal. It's Yeah, usually these guys can't cross here. Um, ooh, except for here. We'll see here. Also, I think it would be important if I actually pumped an extra few units into the Western Front. Uh, but I mean, I'm just gonna take a look over here and see how things going. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we get back. Take Danzig. Uh, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. You really can't do anything here, but I'm going to do fuel refining because you're doing like really everything you possibly can. Alright, so now you have two extra things to do. So you can pump 25 potential things into that. Actually, you want that over that. And you also get heavy fighters. Yay! Alright, let's see. I want to. I kind of need everybody to kind of just attack here. Yeah, perfect. Cut them off. Mm, yep. See, that's exactly what I was saying. Uh, Russian front. Yeah, you just delete that, and you can just stick a offensive line here. Just don't click the yes order, because then that means you won't be wasting any units. Pump these guys out, even though they might be kind of weaker. Ah, kind of screwed up here, but I think we'll be all right. Um, kind of need Poland to like hurry up here and get wrecked. This is not a big deal. Uh, cause when you're done with Poland, these guys kind of like get crushed. Yeah, I probably should have put more units into this, but it's whatever at this point. Um, uh, let's see. Yep, brush that. That's good. And look, I mean, some of their armies here as well, they have a much weakened uh, logistics uh, support as well. I mean, look at that. I mean, they have... The little orange is their, is their equipment. They have, like, literally no equipment. So, them pushing into, um, into Germany is actually not profitable for them. Uh, you also see the air support as well. I mean, you, you have complete air support, like, or er, air control. You don't need to worry about that. You're bombing where they're coming in from. It'll be fun. I mean, also, there's certain tactics you can do with uh, strategic bombers and heavy bombers. If you bomb them right here, I mean, all their factory output, all their factories get ruined. Uh, their armies are crushed because they can't support anything. Uh, okay, let's hurry this guy. Come on, guys. Hurry up. What are we doing? Uh, let's see. Warsaw's getting there. It is kind of like a more lazy attempt, but also we have 250 here. Let's get. We're actually about to get Anschluss. Perfect. And we don't have any objections to it. They immediately come ours. Um, so you can either delete all these guys or you can actually switch them to. 
elite infantry if you want, or the infantry or the unit that you're using. Um, at this point, I think I'm actually going to do that. I actually, I haven't done this before. So I'll stick all these ten guys right here. Right, all these guys can go here. Full army, perfect. Uh, what's next? Uh, state and land. Get that done. Uh, at this point, it doesn't even matter if you're at 25% now, because you're kind of trying to roll. I don't know how that works, but... You basically won't get guaranteed. Or any country won't get guaranteed at this point. Or, I mean, Czechoslovakia will get, get guaranteed if you... Well, not, not Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia won't get guaranteed by the Allies. Um, these guys will if you do that. At that point. But, I'll show you what I do. And once Danzig gets taken, I'm amazing. Because if, when you take Warsaw, the capital becomes Danzig. Um, but we're good at that point. <sighs> Man, they're such a really weak in Belgium. I, 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 I'm almost tempted just to click this order. See how things go, but mm. let's see. They're doing good on that point, and this is this is a much weakened country. So at this point, just go go to extremely aggressive because you're not. I mean, you're yet again you are using up a lot more resources and manpower, but I mean your manpower is building up and your resources are only getting better. Because you are a winning nation against the country, so. Awesome, Warsaw's gone. That could lead to a peace deal soon. How close? Oh, yeah, very close. Just take, like, literally one more city, or, like, one more territory, you'll be set and going. You can do it, just take... Or... Tarknow. Tarknow. Tarka... Tarn... Tarnow. Awesome, Poland. Take all states. And that is how you take Poland pretty quickly. Alright, um, set all these guys to the Western Front, and you set them here. And yeah, go, go, go full on aggressive. This is a weakened country. Don't do anything just yet, though. Wait from the, you know, get to the other side of the country first. Delete these. You don't need any of this crap from them. Um, I haven't done anything with logistics or anything yet. I right, let's get them all here. So they 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 became friends. Also, there are quicker ways to beat the allies than what I'm doing right now. I just find this the most effective way and the way that I enjoy doing it. Alright, let's go. Wow, that's weird. Oh my god, they actually prepared for this. What the hell? That never happens. Usually they just get stuck on the line. That is incredible. Well, that... Doesn't matter for us, or doesn't matter for them, because they're about to get surrounded and cream at the same time. This is about to jump up to 90 in a minute. I mean, they really screwed themselves over there. So, that's good for us. Actually, I'll wait to do that. Oh, you know what? Alright, let's do. Let's get. Get some Goebbels. Um, let's see. That's important. Do that. Awesome. Awesome. That's how you get Belgium. Uh, yeah. So you, that, that's your empire right there. You're doing great, and you also get a little bit of Africa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um. Awesome. So yeah, all of our construction is going well. So actually we're going to stop that for right there. Um kind of want to get that going. Perfect. Uh more guns, more that, more that, and then that. That's what you want. That's the best way you want to look at it. That's your best factory output. All right, so now you basically have three countries right there. Boom, done. And you're also about to do to uh, demand state and land. 
Um, also, let's see. Who is the best... Who are the best generals and who are the worst generals? Alright, so Kurt Student is going to be our Imaginet line guy. And you're going to take Mr. Heinz Guderian's people. Yeah, and now you just set this guy here. And you take everyone else. Boom. 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 And you just do that. And there you go. And that is how you basically set up for world conquering. That was your job. And uh I mean yeah, in the next video I will I'll just do, you know, how to get all of this uh, potentially you get this as well, Yugoslavia. Uh, you get Czechoslovakia, you get Yugoslavia, and you can also puppet Kingdom of Greece. Uh, don't, and also I will say in the next video, don't make friends with these guys. These guys are not good. Uh, just take them over. It'll be good for everything. Also, keep supporting our our guys over here, um, even though they're so incompetent. Like, please just win. I, I'm sending you so much. Actually, before this video ends, I'll start. I'll send them uh, 30 more tanks. Oh, no, actually, no, I won't. I forgot. I don't get any tanks from that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is part one. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like uh, and subscribe if you like it. I know this is kind of a scuffed video. I'm not really used to just making these kind of videos. I'm not really good at making YouTube videos, but uh, whatever. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.